Right then, here we're looking at introducing uh, programming on the Cyan Organizer 2. Advanced programmers might want to check out the web archive and look at some of Yap's advanced tips and tricks. Beginners can download these introduction notes from the link below and these will help you with a full set of instructions. You can use them to cut and paste program listings and they'll also direct you to uh, Yap's archive where you can get access to uh, Jake, the organizer that you can see on the screen at the moment. It'll also show you where you can download the, uh, the files and programs that you need and you'll also be directed to an eBay store where you can get hold of uh, anything you might be missing, uh, comms links or RAM packs or whatever. So, to get started, back in the day when we used to come across a new machine, we always used to write a Hello World program. So let's try that on this uh, Cyan Organizer XP. We need to navigate to the prog menu and uh, because I've already done this, I'm going to erase the program out of memory and you will just select new. We need to give the uh, program a name and we're going to call it hello, which is for hello world. And first we need to set up a local variable, nstring. The manual will explain uh, the syntax for all of these commands and the manual can be downloaded from YAP's web archive. Again, the directions are in the uh, introduction notes below. The, uh, so we just run through the program, Look, we declare a local variable end string, we uh, clear the screen, we print on the screen, if it's in inverted commas, hello world, and then we make the machine pause for a little while. Again, the manual will explain how long 100, 100 is. Clear screen, clears the screen, and then we print uh, enter your name, that's what will appear on the screen, and underneath that, It'll, uh, you'll see a flashing cursor because we, the command input end string gets the uh, organizer to wait till somebody types something in at the keyboard and, and finishes off the typing with the exit key. Once that's typed in, we'll clear the screen again and immediately print on the screen programmed by and whatever the user typed in for end string will be then displayed on the screen. Pause again for a little while and then put on the screen press any key. On a normal thing you might type press any key to continue but we've got limited space so we'll just type press any key. Get makes the uh, organizer wait and get the next key that's pressed. We don't want to do anything with that oh, and then stop. Then you need to type mode and translate to translate the program and this will run through the program and spot for errors like for instance there where we forgot to put in the length of the end string variable and that we've also spelt uh, print wrong. Once it's translated correctly, it will uh, it will uh, it will be saved into memory, and then you can run uh, the program, and it will run through everything that we've said. Print, enter your name. We'll enter a name here, Joe Blogs. It'll say program by, and then print the name Joe Blogs because that's what we've got it to do. It then puts on the screen press any key and it's now waiting for a key to be pressed. And that's it. Simple program. Uh, but that's where most people started when they, uh, when they started to program on a, uh, on a new machine. Let's try that now on, a, on a, a later machine, the LZ machine. That has a four line display. Uh, I've already typed the program into this. So we'll just go to uh, run because the program structure is the same. And we'll run hello and it prints hello world uh, and then it'll uh, say enter your name exactly the same as it did on the other so some of the programs that you write on a two line display can be run on a four line display uh, and then it runs through and says press any key to continue and and then stops and that's the end of it so quite a simple program but it gives you an idea of how you might program your say an organizer the problem is is programming in a Cyan Orga is not very satisfactory. When the programs get long and complicated, you can't actually see what you're doing and it's difficult to find any mistakes you might have. So back in the 80s, Cyan released a development pack and in the development pack, there's actually uh, an emulator. Uh, 
So the manual will tell you how to download this, uh, well not the manual, the instruction leaflet below will tell you how to download this uh, emulator and where to put it to get this uh, DOS program to work. And then you can cut and paste the uh, the routines that you can see on the screen here. You'll be able to cut and paste those into notepad files and then the emulator will edit them. Game user defined graphics. It will pull it in. We'll press F2 to translate it just as we would on a Cyan organizer. Uh, and then we'll uh, load the next one in called mine. This is quite a longer program. We'll just have a bit of a look at it. You'll be able to see the full listings in the uh, document below. Um, and we'll press F2 to translate this. Uh, and then save it. And it's now saved those three files. You'll see them cropping up at the bottom of the screen there. As uh, LNO files. LNO is a type of file that will run in this emulator or simulator. And when we run the program. It runs just as it would on a four-line Cyan Organizer LZ. Don't be too worried about the block out of the screen at the top line. This uh, emulator or simulator didn't actually like to display the um, uh, the graphics or the user-defined graphics that we put on the top line of the screen. Or it didn't like to display the clock. So when we run this program in a few minutes on the uh, Cyan Organizer LZ, you'll see that the top line works quite successfully. But it's still very handy to run it in this emulator because if it crashes now, it'll show you where it's crashed, why it's not working, it'll give you some uh, pointers to what you might want to do to put it right, and then you can fully test your programs and all the routines within your program within the emulator so that it'll, uh, uh, it'll be ready for you to build a pack <coughs> If you get to the stage, oh, excuse me. If you get to the stage where you want to build a pack, there is another video on developing packs and building packs. I think it's for uh, the quiz pack program, and uh, that will show you how you can use these routines for building a pack ready to transfer onto your Cyan organizer. You could, of course, build a pack, and then, <coughs> excuse me, and then you could run the pack in the. Uh, in the apps emulator. Let's have a try of that here. So I built the pack. I've actually sent it across. Again, you'll need to check the other video on how to get it uh, to build the pack and how to get it across onto the emulator. But I should be able to run this program now. The pack is in pack C and I called it mind. And there we go. We can get the game to run uh, and be simulated in a, a, an actual uh, simulation or emulation of a. Uh, Cyan Organizer 4 line LZ display. The uh, As it runs through the program now, you'll get some feel for uh, actually what the program is and when you actually want to get involved. It's like a mastermind game. You can choose between four and nine what would have been halls in the original mastermind. Here are the just spaces. Uh, and then you can choose, or I will call them positions, and then you could choose between four or one to nine, I think, uh, letters that can be used. So it can get quite complicated, and you'll need to keep a good record if you ever do more than four. The uh, And then it will show you which character you've got in the right place, which uh, character is right but in the wrong place, uh, and which one's not. If you need to quit, you'll press Q to quit. And if you need to turn the machine off, then you'll turn it off. Uh, if you quit, of course, it'll give you the answer and then come out. Next time you start it again, it'll uh, it'll come up with a different uh, starting set of characters. So that's it. That's as far as we need to go with this simple introduction to programming. Don't forget to download the notes if you need them. And uh, good luck.